Hi, and welcome back to Clayfield. Before we start, I would like to talk a little bit about some background information that I, yikes, forgot to mention you in the first video. First of all, I'm keeping an archive of my BACC on my life journal. There you can find all the previous updates of each, each uh, household and also you can uh, get to know them a little bit better so feel free to head to my live journal and check them out. In the archive there's also a link to the rules I'm using with this challenge. I'm not using the standard BACC rules Instead, I have modified them to my liking. For example, uh, I'm not using the basic um, careers from the game. Or if I do so, I have modified them uh, the way I like to run this city. But uh, as we go along, you will see what I mean. I'm also running this neighborhood on rotation, which, me which means that each household is going to be played for 5 sim days. And I'm playing uh, in a spe spe sorry <laughs> in a specific order what comes to the households. So all family members, for example, are played uh, one after another and so on. My game is very heavily modded and it includes a lot of CC and a lot of hacks and mods and I will do my best to tell you where where I got them when we are playing. And I'll do my best to give the appropriate credits for all the creators of sims and lots and everything. I am using some of the lots made by other simmers and also um, quite a few of my sims here are made by other players as well. Okay, so that's the information I wanted to give you before we start. And first Today we are going to check in with the orphanage, which is here. It's also the first institution we are going to get to know a little bit better. And here you can see the family in a quick view. There are currently three orphans living here and the social worker. And yeah, let's just jump into the game and I'll see you in just a few minutes. This is the Clayfield City Orphanage. This lot is made by Selina Q13 on Live Journal. I have kept it pretty much the same it was was originally. I have only expanded the ground floor. Here is a small playground for the kids and the social workers van and let's take a look, look inside here's the social worker I'll give you some quick info about her background. Her name is Opal Raymond. She is originally one of the vacation townies. She was adopted as a teen by the previous social worker who died of old age a couple rounds ago. And she's, she's taking care of the kids. There are children, toddlers and babies taken care, taken care of here and 
let's see her stats she is a fortune family sim and she actually has a pretty interesting storyline going on she autonomously fell in love with the mayor of the city which is quite interesting and we are going to tend at the wedding on the next episode so it will be interesting and exciting and there are three orphans as I said all of them are at school at the moment since it's around 12:30 uh, p.m. currently here so while the kids are at school let's take a tour of the house and let's give her something to do let's see she could make some breakfast or lunch And while she's doing that, we could take a look inside for just a bit. So, this is the lobby. And there are some toys for the kids. And here is the toddler's bedroom. Them, some basic stuff, grips and party, changing table, more toys, and this is the room for the orphans where they do their homework, obviously. The living room. And here is just a bathroom. And the kitchen. And downstairs, there's another living room. And the social worker's bedroom. My camera is very sensitive, sorry about that. And here is the kids' bedroom. There are space for eight children and three toddlers or babies at the moment. They also have a kitty. <laughs> Can you hear that? Hello, kitty. Oh, we should give her some privacy. Although, I'm not sure if the kitty is a female. Let's see. Yeah. Her name is Fuzzy and the kids are coming home any minute and we'll just have to wait 10 sim minutes Here is one of their neighbors. <laughs> she is quite an interesting character. And we'll, sh uh, we'll see her later. And here are the kids. First one 
Her name is Hanako, Hanako Sky. She was randomly generated by the game. And the next happy orphan. He is so cute. His name is Darek, and he's actually one of my own sims I made him and he is also available to download as an adult on my live channel if you are interested. He's so cute. And the last one, her name is Alicia and she's also a randomly generated orphan. And she is not happy with her grade. Oh, so cute. I have to warn you, I do, t do um, stop to take pictures quite a lot. I'm continuing to update this um, hood to my live channel so I will take a lot of pictures as some of you may know I just think it's so fun to uh, watch back and see what kind of silly things my sims have been doing like here Okay, let's see, the kids are pretty hungry. Yes. So let's invite them for dinner. Silly boy. Why aren't you eating? Okay, there, uh, there is a call for Opal, one of the neighbors. And today on the menu is veggie soup. table habits. No, kitty, no! Shoo! No, no, no. Shoo! Bad kitty. She's eating our soup. Bad kitty. Scold her. Anyway, she may have some bad habits, but she's cute. One of the Orphans, uh, orphan teens is calling her. I love the kids, they are just so cute.
Just look at the space. She's funny. And you. Okay. Some dancing, some really awkward dancing going on. That's just hilarious. Okay. <laughs> this seems all so silly. Oh my goodness. Boogie. Let's boogie. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, Hanako is about to grow into a teenager soon, so I want to take as many pictures of um, of her as a child as I can. Whoa. The cat is looking at light like what? <laughs> Funny. Okay. Go eat. Now. Okay, enough dancing. Go do your homework, please. Yeah. Okay. Next, we will have a little storyline thing happening. So I'll make the preparation for it and I'll be right back. Okay, let's continue. So Opal has just called Joe, who is the town's mayor, and she invited him over for one specific reason. Go party first. And now we are just going to wait for him. And I'll give a short info about his backstory. Okay, so this is Joe Di Carlo. Choi started as the mayor of Clayfield several rounds ago. He married one of the town's founders, Sidley, who died due to um, ROS, a uh, random occurrence scenario, a few rounds back. Uh, Joe and Sidney, Sidley have two kids. Uh, and their youngest son is currently a teenager or he's about to become an adult and Joe lives in Clayton village at the moment and during the last round uh, Joe and and Opal were on a date and they both both fell in love and they both rolled a wand to get engaged and then get married. So Joe proposed to her. They do have a quite a big age difference. Opal is around 30 years old and Joe is way over 60, I think. And I first thought that no, I don't see this happening. 
but uh, in the end they both really uh, seem genuine and even though they have a fairly uh, small chemistry only one bolt they both just want to get married so I thought okay why not we could use a wedding <laughs> so Joe is here and let's see he's going to move in so they can start the preparation for their wedding Hello, honey bun. <laughs> and now I've decided that yeah, Joe is going to move in and his young youngest uh, son Elvis is also going to move in to the orphanage. I know it sounds a bit silly but I think I we can make it work yeah you just got to believe so we will choose Elvis and Hilda who is Elvis's dog and <laughs> I think it's funny um, it says here Joe is moving in with 359 simoleons added to the family funds <laughs> considering that he is one of the wealthiest sims in Clayfield <laughs> that that money just seems so funny I mean you could have just um, bought some more money silly man okay and I think Joe has some furniture here in his inventory. Yes. So I'll just uh, quickly refurnish their um, joint bedroom and we'll continue in the next episode where we are going to have a wedding. I want to thank you so much for watching and please feel free to leave comments. You can comment here on YouTube or you can send me an ask on Tumblr or a message on LiveJournal. You can find the links to my LiveJournal and Tumblr on the video description box below. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.